Hanging out here at Ortho Georgia Park where it's a pretty quiet Monday afternoon as it was most of this weekend. Why? Because Mercer Baseball was on the road again. The fourth Southern Conference Series of the year for the Bears against VMI. In case you missed any of the action, that's why we're here. Let's take a look back at our top three takeaways from this weekend series against the Key Dets. Beginning with takeaway number one, scoring is not an issue. That's right, a grand total of 86 runs scored across these three games in Lexington, 44 of them scored by the Bears. Now flip it around and the Mercer pitching staff giving up 42 runs on the weekend. Obviously not ideal, but throughout Friday afternoon's loss and Mercer turned it around when they needed to most. How they got it done? Well, by just about every which way, but most importantly, 16 home runs. Carter Sanford is your SoCon player of the week. He, along with Eric Toth and Jackson Cherry, having huge weekends, but none bigger then first baseman Ty Daly. Takeaway number two, Daly hits diggers. In fact, so many that the freshman from Vidalia now leads the Southern Conference with 13 homers on the year. He added three of them over the weekend against the Key Dets and nine more RBIs to boot. His 44 runs driven in and 21 extra base hits also good for team leads. The preseason SoCon freshman of the year right on track to winning that award for real this year. You know what would help his case? A big time performance this Tuesday in Atlanta. Bringing us to takeaway number three, keep the momentum moving. Mercer matches up with Georgia Tech Tuesday night, but carrying momentum over from the weekend into the midweek, a spot where the Bears have struggled this year. Mercer just five and five in midweek games this season. Four of those five losses coming against in-state programs. That most recently included a 13-3 loss at Georgia State last Wednesday. The Bears' expectation is certainly to get back to the NCAA tournament and a win against the tournament team from last season would go a long way. After a hot start, the Jackets have cooled off quite a bit in ACC play. They are 22 and 18 on the year. 